back, went back and looked at the, uh, the tape from Arizona. What would you say is just the first team defense, uh, the, the plays that you guys got in there? Uh, we played pretty good. Um, I don't think they scored on us. I don't think they crossed the 50 yard. Um, we played sound defense. Obviously, they had a running quarterback. I think we did a great job of containing him, even when we were in, when we were in man. Um, overall, good, good, good by the defense. There's different ways teams go about preseason games, but it, it seemed like you guys did a lot more blitzing and things that, than a team would normally do. Is that that be fair? Uh, I think that's just the way we run defense. Um, you know, um, some some plays we blitz, some plays we don't. Some plays we sit back and obviously just could, um, control the down and distance. Um, it's been like that since I've been with Poly G, so nothing new to me. But rather than going vanilla, you think it's a good idea to practice things that you're going to use during the season? Yeah, I mean, blitzes is obviously a key part of uh, football because usually you call it on, you know, down the distance. That's key in the game. And um, obviously it's fast, it's fast paced and sometimes the ends are dropping, the tackles are dropping. So you have to communicate it. So I think it's great, great that we got it on film and, you know, get to coach it, obviously, when we get in film study. We've seen uh, LaMarcus Joyner add to the defense here. Fast, instinctive, um, leader, um, man, everything. He's, a, he, he's what you want out of Nickelback. Um, he, he puts his hands on receivers, don't let them get free access. And obviously, I have to communicate him before pre-snap, and it's, 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 it does wonders for me. It takes a lot of a lot of stuff on my plate to have him next to me. Since the beginning of camp, it's been obvious, and since this is the first time we talked to you, that you were taking over a major leadership role in this defense because you knew it so well. I just want to see, what, what's your assessment of how things have come along in the 12 practices or so that you've had since we talked to you last? It's great. Um, yeah, of course I want to be that leader, but man, we have so many leaders on our defense. So, like I said, uh, it's not too much stuff on my plate that I can handle because I got Lamarcus, I got Tahir, I got you know Carl, I got you know Abraham, Abram behind me. So, um, it's 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 exciting. Obviously, uh, less stress on my plate. I can just go out there and just do my job and execute and make sure I, I'm running to the football. Does Abram maybe have more juice than a typical rookie. Yeah, he has an extreme confidence. Uh, I love it though, because um, he shows it. He he shows it in film room and in film study. Like today, we had a play and he opened his mouth up and obviously said something in front of the defense that kind of gave me the chills. I don't want to say it because it's kind of just in 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 house study, but um, he's gonna be a great player for us. How much better, Montez, is that offense that you're facing, your own offense, when Antonio's on the field? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's it moves at a faster pace. Obviously, you got to know where he lines up at. So um, I'm excited that, that he's on my team rather than playing him, you know, twice a year. So it's exciting. You guys have had those battles. I know we talked about it earlier this year about how you guys were going to connect after having all those battles in the in the division before. How has that relationship come together in camp? It's great. I mean, obviously, um, football's football. Um, it was division, division games, obviously. We're on teams now, so um, we chatted about it a little bit yesterday. Um, but, you know, I'm excited that he's on my team and just ready to get some Ws. What are you seeing out of uh, DeAndre? Is he better this year? Is he look better? Do you? Or yeah, we thought we're seeing the same things you guys are seeing. We think he looks, you know, quicker, uh, faster, and stronger. So we've been happy with this, or he's, how he's developed so far. Good problem to have then, I guess, with all the the running backs pretty much showing their, their best foot forward and what you know what you already have in hand with Jalen? Yeah, uh, and obviously Doug Martin's in the mix there. Uh, so, and Josh Jacobs has had a real strong camp and he looked real strong, you know, in his first action uh, the other night. So, uh, you know, got some depth at that position and uh, they all have a unique set of skills. You know, Jalen's been a, obviously very productive out of the backfield as a receiving running back, but uh, I kind of feel like all four of them could, can be uh, dual threat type running backs. This is perfect. Is that wow. this is perfect. Record, Thank you. How different is it? How different is the offense when when Antonio's out there? Uh, significantly, you know, he's one of the top players in the game. So anytime you're able to, you know, have that kind of talent on the field, he's he's going to draw the attention of defensive coordinators and and players. So uh, it just changes really dramatically when when you have those type of players. Go ahead, Vic. What have you seen out of the quarterbacks, Glennon and, and Peterman, so far? Uh, we've been happy. You know, we've been real clean the first two games in terms of our uh, mechanics of getting in and out of the huddle, getting line of scrimmage, uh, no pre-snap penalties, which has been good. But just the way that they've 
uh, manage the game. Uh, the things that uh, John's asked to them to do, the, uh, you've probably noticed a little bit different game plans between the two of them, between Glennon and Peterman, uh, and, and they both handle it very well, uh, their responsibilities, and uh, they've produced. You know, they prepare and they produce, and uh, we've been happy with their development. You're with Derek last year at the end of training camp, and then now you're th that now this year. How different is it with him in terms of what he knows and how to? Do yeah, I just think he's, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and practicing with a lot of confidence. I think again, uh, just a better overall feel for uh, the expectations uh, that John has of him on each and every play. Again, the intent of the play. What's the intent of the play, and uh, where do, where did? Where does John want you to go with the football? And I think he's got a real good feel for that right now. I'm just, you know, finishing up the last day here in training camp and uh, looking forward to playing uh, another game, Green Bay in Canada, and get some of these, um, still still trying to evaluate the roster and see where we're at with the numbers. How much of a, of a lot of the pressures that you brought in Arizona had to do with uh, Kyler Murray and being able to prepare it against a running quarterback and how much of it was just to, to try things out, to try things you're going to use during the season. Yeah, I mean, th those are some plays we'll run during the season. If you if you notice some of the guys who are blitzing, it was Joyner, Abram, uh, Brandon Marshall, perfect. They're all new new toys for me a little yeah. bit if you want to. So those are the guys I wanted to see, you know, blitz a little bit and just not sit back in coverage all day. So it's just some of, this, some of the, the stuff that I sent was just basic little things there. So. Um, but I want to see those guys have to communicate and do the different things instead of just playing one or two coverages, which we really did most of the game. We played probably three or four coverages the whole game. Small sample size, but how much fun did you have with those new toys? Oh, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. There's a lot more speed on the field. We can cover. Uh, we got guys that can blitz, guys that can play the run. So I think, um, you know, I told the players, you know, you kind of know what it's supposed to look like when it's right, and we, were, we had some glimpses of that the other night. So hopefully we can continue to, to get better and understand the details of everything we're doing. From uh, Cleveland, as far as the jump he made from the first game to the second game, I think he did a lot better in that second game. Really, um, you know, I'm just chasing the guy down on the boot. That guy can run. He did. He did a good job. He, you know, a couple of times he got his hands a little bit too high, got hands to their face. So that's easy stuff to clean up. But uh, he he looked a lot better in this ball game. Are you happy with the Arden's key? Arden's key's playing up to this point. Yeah, I think he's done a good job both in the run and he's he's been active in the rush. You know, he's, he's he looks a lot stronger to me. Um, so hopefully, he, again, he's another guy that can keep getting better because. You know, he, he can play first, second, and third down now, so it's uh, it's good to see. Was Brandon Rush as good in the second game as the first game? Who? Uh, Rush, the defensive tackle. Anthony. Oh, yeah, yeah, Anthony Rush. Yeah, he, um, he, yeah, he did some good things. He's pen He's a big guy. He's still trying to figure out the techniques of how we teach it and when some of the calls are coming in, things are happening fast. So I think he's going to continue to uh, to get better in, in, in this game. We're gonna, again, we're going to get get him in there against some of the uh, the starting players here and see how – that's really this game is we're going to get some of the younger players, you know, if they have their starting line in there, I want to see those guys go against the, their ones. Perfect just said that – um, John Abram just said something in a meeting or something that really surprised him, gave him goosebumps. I, he didn't want to reveal it. You don't necessarily have to. But just what have you seen from him as a rookie that has maybe surprised you? I just think he's wise beyond his years. He doesn't act like a rookie. When he's out there, he sounds like a seven- or eight-year vet. And I think the players take notice of that, just how he prepares, how he studies, how he communicates with the guys on and off the field. Um, you know, the thing's not too big for him. And the players see that, and um, he doesn't act like a typical rookie. That's what I would say it jumps out at me. Have you gotten what you expected out of Josh Morrow uh, so far this camp? Yeah, he's done a good job. He, he's he's a little bit hampered with a hamstring. The last call, he didn't play in the last ball game. So, uh, but uh, he's a tough guy. He's he can play play both inside and outside. So, um, we had good film of him. Obviously, Buckner has history with him, and uh, I think he's a good fit uh, kind of guy we want to have around here. Going back to last week's exhibition, Paul, what does it tell you when a rookie breaks his hand in the middle of a game, Max, and then wants to come back in, gets a cast, up, and goes back in? He's crazy. <laughs> no, he, yeah. um, he, he, he's just he's a great kid. He's got tons of energy, and he, I really admire him trying to get back in the game. He really wanted to get back in there. So, um, you know, he's just going to have to play play what with, with the cast to get used to it and practice and those things. But uh, I, I admire him. He's a tough guy. loves ball. And uh, those are the kind, again, I can't say enough about the guy, the kind of guys we brought in here, both free agency and draft. It's just changed the whole complex of the team. It's just a whole different vibe with this team right now. More toys. More toys. That's right. Hey, Coach, what's the impact of Bonte having him right there in the middle, the, the attitude, the intensity he brings? What, what he, effect does that have on the defense? You know, I was his linebacker coach, then his coordinator in Cincinnati, so I kind of raised him since he was a puppy. And, and he just, he's so smart. 
Um, he alerts guys. He's a great communicator. He knows the defense in, inside and out. He knows the corners, the safeties, the D-line. He knows it all. We can get in and out of different defenses at the line of scrimmage. So it's like having a, a, your quarterback that you've coached for years um, running your system on the field.